Hello, my name is Corey Jones, and today we will take a look at the latest update on the construction of Globe Life Field. Joining me today is Rob Matwick, Executive Vice President of Business Operations for the Texas Rangers. Thanks for joining us, Rob. My pleasure, Corey. Well, Globe Life Park has seen some amazing moments, uh, but it's now time to build again. What was the spark that really got the Rangers organization to say, hey, it's time for a new stadium, it's time for a tractable roof, those kinds of things? You know, from a ballpark standpoint, from a fan standpoint, we now have an opportunity to take some things out of play that have been a challenge for us, you know, from the beginning of the franchise being here, primarily the weather. Uh, so we solve that issue, but then we also give, give ourselves the opportunity to open our doors much wider. The 81 baseball games and winning the World Series are always our first objective, but now we will have the ability to look at things like concerts, soccer games, basketball, football. We have looked at every sports configuration we could possibly do for the new building. Uh, we have also done some things operationally to make certain that we can move those types of shows in and out, have minimal disruption to baseball. So I think we just give ourselves a lot more flexibility from, from a large scale, but even from a smaller scale. I mean, we want to be able to accommodate groups as small as, you know, we want to be able to go from 40 to 40,000. Have there been any surprises that have popped up with the construction of Globe Life Field you know, in the design process or even you know, in the actual construction? Has anything weird popped up there? Uh, knock on wood, no surprises That's yet. That's good. But what you see on the site today in terms of construction really has only taken place since the excavation finished in March. So it's really in about six months time, uh, you can see how much progress has been made on the construction site. When people come in and see the finished product, you know, there are hours and hours of, of labor that have gone into this. In fact. We reached the 1 million mark yeah. in man hours in August. So you think about that, we started, that took about a year to get there. We expect to reach 2 million man hours in February. One of the critical milestones comes up in October when we start construction of the roof. Mm -hmm. That'll take about a year, and that obviously is probably the most significant piece of the construction process. Right, so yeah, you mentioned other sporting events, you know, I guess soccer would, would be a consideration, concerts, uh, things like that, business events. Um, I mean, are there any other weird things that you think that, that might uh, end up being a global field? You know, usually the field's gonna have about 130,000 square feet of space. Mm -hmm. So it may, may not be as large as a traditional convention center, right. but that doesn't mean that if you incorporate, you co incorporate the field, you can incorporate concourses. Mm -hmm. Now that we have the plaza space adjacent to Texas Live, and, and that's one of the things we like about the entire development is that we can make all of these pieces work together or we can use them individually. Yeah, well, I think the question on everyone's mind is, are we gonna get a Weird Al Yankovic concert at Gold? <laughs> uh, well, if he's still around in 2020, I guess we might be able to do that, but uh, hopefully uh, the acts will, will draw a little bit better than Weird Al. But uh, we certainly are looking at an opportunity maybe to have some type of opening show in the building. Yeah. So uh, we'll see what the future brings, but right now we're just focused on construction. Well, Rob, thank you for joining us today. My pleasure, Corey. All right. Globe Life Field is currently on schedule to open for the 2020 season. Be sure to follow Globe Life's social media for more updates and insights into the completion of Globe Life Field.